What's up everybody and welcome to the new Poke Rage channel. A little about myself, my name is Nick and I started collecting Pokemon cards back in 1999 when the first base set came out. I have the entire first, I guess, generation um, base set, Fossil, Jungle, Team Rocket, all of those cards uh, all tucked away in a binder and um, even started collecting Neo Genesis, Neo Discovery. Uh, I took a little break there, um, and what happened was my friend bought me a booster pack a couple of years ago. It was a Vivid Voltage pack, and as soon as I saw this, I said, dude, I'm like, you're going to open up a can of worms. I'm never going to stop now. And ever since then, my small collection turned into what you see behind me, and even more so, you know, in the closets and storage. Anyway, so today I'm here to talk about the brand new... Uh, Pokemon boxes that came out today with the brand new starters from Scarlet and Violet, the Fue Coco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley boxes. And what's interesting about these boxes is the introduction of the new silver borders, which I think are actually a step up from the yellow borders, kind of moving towards the new Japanese um, look of the cards. So... I'm going to discuss, I guess, what's in them and uh, go from there. Unfortunately, there are no Scarlet and Violet packs in them. There is only, I believe, Silver Tempest and Brilliant Stars packs. But I guess, you know, it's, a, I guess, just to show, you know, what the new cards are going to look like and uh, hopefully kind of take a better turn for them. Anyway, so uh, let's just uh, get right into it. So I guess we're going to start with the Foy Coco box. Um here and I do like that they have the little pins um, you know I, I think so what it looks like too is the starter card has or each starter has like their own unique starter uh, card with them with different art and they I believe are promos anyway let's uh let's crack it open and see what we find out from here oh, God. these are not easy to open let's put it that way Alrighty, take off this plastic, and let's actually look at the pin first. I think the pins are actually pretty high quality pins. Um, they do look pretty nice. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, maybe put them on the side or something, but alright, let's check the uh, promo cards here. These are not easy to open, let's put it that way. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. So first off, let's start with the non-promos. I just want to see see what we got here. So we got the Sprigatito. So what it looks like here is the these are actually part of the Scarlet and Violet set, which is pretty interesting that they started doing this. And as you can see, they so they got rid of the um, symbol for each set. So now it's just going to be like the Japanese and tell you which one it is. So Scarlet and Violet. So that's pretty neat. So I like that Sprigatito. Um, and then let's go look at the Quaxly card version of this one. Quaxly is just nice. So I actually bought six uh, boxes, two of each one, um, because what I obviously I like to keep a collection behind me. And so what I'll look for normally is the centering of the front the promo cards and... Uh, everything so like this the centering isn't all that amazing on these but that's okay that's 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 like a binder card or something like that i'll put them you know next to the um full set but anyway here you can see like the little promo it's kind of hard to see on this camera i'm sorry but that's okay all right and then from here this is the jumbo card maridon these are two legendaries from uh scarlet and violet and uh, I definitely picked up Violet, so my girlfriend is actually playing Scarlet, so we'll see what happens. But I do like the pattern on here. These are, it's almost like, so, I don't know, it's hard to tell on here if you can see, like, the stars, but it's kind of like the reverse hollow for the Japanese ones. I actually picked up the a box of V-Star Universe and got a pretty good card. I actually got the gold Arceus card. Um... And I was very surprised. I mean, I, I don't normally buy um, 
Japanese cards, but in this case, I was like, you know what, just to see what happens, and lo and behold, I pulled the Arceus, I'm like, alright, this is, this is great. So, yeah, so like I mentioned, so it's like two Silver Tempests and two Brilliant Stars, and what we're looking for, I mean, Brilliant Stars, you have the um, Charizard V alternate art, and then Silver Tempest is a Lugia alternate art, which is insanely hard to pull, but I think we're just going to start here, Silver Tempest, and go from there. Uh, Silver Tempest has been really hard for me. I don't know why. I bought two booster boxes, and for some reason, I could not, not pull, I don't know if you guys want the code card, um, anything. I, I don't think I got any rainbows in there or anything, but that's all right. And as for the card trick, I don't really like to do the card trick. I like just to kind of get into it. So we got that. We got Togo Tomorrow, Esper, Smeargle, Spinarak. Kind of reminds me of the Pokemon Go Spinarak. And a non hollow God of War. Yeah, and then V-Star. All right, so nothing good in that pack. Can't say I'm surprised. These, these hits have been kind of hard. Um, let's uh, do Brilliant Stars. Go from there. But Brilliant Stars was... Wasn't that bad actually for me. I think at some point I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the single cards, and that's what I did. And I just at some point it's like, is it worth it to buy all these packs to try to get them, or should I just, you know, buy the singles and save a little money? But yeah, here we go. So we got Shinx, Impidimp, Clink Clank, and we got a Kingler V. So that's not too bad. A dollar card. All right. All right, so we got one hit, I suppose, out of these two car uh, two packs of cards. Uh, let's go back to Silver Tempest. Uh, I'm actually really excited for the new Scarlet. Actually, before before we even get into Scarlet and Violet, I'm excited for the V Star Universe uh, or Crown Zenith, I, su I should say. Um, those I I'm probably going to be a little spoiled though, only because. Like with the booster boxes of the Star Universe, you know, you get at least a secret rare and uh, gold, you know, or not a gold, but um, a big hit anyway. And with uh, the American version, you don't, the English version, you don't really, you don't have a guarantee. And that's what is, is going to deter me a little bit, but that's all right. Maybe I'll get lucky one day and uh, pull one of those gold cards. All righty. So, oops, not really on that, but that's okay. Code card, and Clink, Sneasel, Turtwig, Piplup, Shroomish, Double Turbo Energy, Professor Reacher's Hollow. So, and I believe it's a V, yeah, v Star backwards for some reason, but it's all right. All right, so those packs were kind of dead. <laughs> that's all right, that's, that's my luck. Um, all right, so let's jump into the Sprigatito box. I'm just going to open off camera that way. It's a little easier for you guys to see. Um, this one... Okay. Take this off. <laughs> All right. So here we have the Coridon. I like the... I like this one. I do like these cards. These are pretty good. Um... I do like these jumbo cards. I'm not sure if there's like a huge market for jumbo cards, but you know, maybe, maybe one day. That's, I did. I bought all of the. Um, oh, what are they called? The packs with the jumbo cards. I, don't, I can't remember. Anyway, so here you can see the Foy Coco. So that's different, different art. So these are actually part of the set. These are. This is the promo card. But as you can see, there's definitely some, like, just a little variation to the artwork, but that's okay. I think they're, they all still look pretty good. And then for this one, yep, and here's the other Quaxley we saw before. And then the Sprigatito card, which, again, I think we have another comparison, yeah. So one's facing, no, one's one way, one's the other, but. Not bad, not bad cards. Like I said, I think I do think that the silver border is definitely better. And then we get the little pin here. Not bad. All right. So here we go again. Silver Tempest. Brilliant stars. 
I guess we'll start off with Brilliant Stars this time and see where it leads us. <laughs> uh, I feel like the Charizard V card has definitely gone up in price a little bit. I think when I bought it, maybe it was like 120 and now it's up to like 150. I'm not 100% sure. We got Bidoof, Electabuff, Buzz Halucha, Buzel, Gobble, Curse, Motham, and nothing good. All right. Another dud of a pack. Let's switch to Silver Tempest. When this, when the Silver Tempest, when the Lugia came out, I've got to be honest with you, I was not the biggest fan of the Lugia. I mean, it looks all right, but I was like, you know, I, I just think they could have done a little bit better. And the Tang, and oh wow, nothing. And, okay, great, awesome. We are doing super well with these packs. Um, let's say I'm surprised. I have absolutely no luck when it comes to these things. I think the best luck I had was when I bought an Astral Radiance booster box and I had the Machamp all art and the Diaga all art in it and after that it's just absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's it is what it is. Um so we got Molga, Full Pix, Dreepy, Rotom, Swirlix, Reverse, and a Retram V. Okay, alright, so another dollar card, not the biggest thing, and whatever. Alright. And last but not least, another brilliant stars. But yeah, let me guys let me know what you guys think of the new starter Pokemon. What's your favorite Pokemon? What did you use? You know, um, I started with Quaxley on Violet. I think he's just I mean I like Donald Duck, so <laughs> that's kind of why I picked him. All right, Nose Pass, Milseri, Cafe Master, and a non hollow Dredigon. Okay, great, awesome. These packs are. The worst. <laughs> the absolute worst. And here we go. Quaxley. Last box. Last box. Oh, goodness. Alrighty. And I think this, yeah, this one has the another Karaidon jumbo. Not too bad. And we got the Quaxley pin. I don't know what to do with these. What do you guys do with these uh, pins? Do you guys sell them? Do you guys put them on your you know, backpacks or anything? Let me know. All right. Let's go over. Let's check out. We already got that one. We got this. And the promo card. All right. So the Quaxi promo card is... Just compare them. Not too different, but again, just slight enough, I guess. Yeah. Well, they want to keep them separated. All right. Not too bad. Okay. So, last four packs of the video. Starting off strong with a Brilliant Stars pack. Here we go. Here we go. White code card. Great. So, nothing in this pack. Awesome. And we haven't even gotten a... Uh, what do you call it? Trainer Gallery card, so that's awesome. I can't believe that. Silver Tempest, here we go. I need quite a few cards from this. Oh, another white code card. Awesome, great. Pokemon coming in through, awesome. Spend a Pikachu, Noibat, Morpeko, Amoongus, and nothing good there. Wow. Alrighty. Brilliant Stars. Last one. I, I'm kind of surprised that they went with Brilliant Stars and not Lost Origin because Lost Origin is more of a more recent set. I don't know why they went with Brilliant Stars. And another white code card, which means we got Dedene, yeah. Gubuchu, Dust Skull, Farfetch, Execute, Clink. Oh my god, these are just awful. These are just god awful packs. And here we go. Can we get some last pack magic from Silver Tempest? Probably not, but. Here goes nothing. Is it a white code card? It's a white code card, so absolute dog shit this entire time. Alright, Growlithe, Clink, Regenerative Energy, yeah, and not uh, hollow. Alright, so those are the new boxes. Um, I guess, you know, just a little preview of what's going to happen. Um, just again, with the silver borders and the I guess I'm, I'm assuming that when they come out with a regular set that these will not be 
uh, hollow that they'll just be regular cards like we just opened um, but you know it is what it is anyway uh, let me know on down below what your favorite Pokemon is um, what do you guys are you guys picking up these boxes uh, make sure to subscribe and like the channel that way you can help me grow and I can do more content for you guys all right I'll catch you in the next one see ya